just just some madness, I tell you. Madness. Um, Kylo's arm has to fall off. <laughs> I can't see I'm them. Alive. Like, I don't know what kind of shot I'm getting. Didn't, she, like, didn't Lydia want to be dead too? I think so. Yeah. That's actually kind of fitting. This whole thing. <laughs> That's actually kind of quite fitting if you really yeah, think yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah. Look at the dead. Yeah, the dead, the dead body back there was looking into the iPod. costume when she was Sally from Nightmare <laughs> Before Christmas. Um, I didn't make my daughter Kyla but we had an old wedding dress and she was the corpse bride and I was Lydia from Beetlejuice and my husband he was Beetlejuice. <laughs> well that was the inspiration anyway but you know <laughs> we got close to that. Usually we go out and buy the costumes but this year I kind of wanted to make them. I don't know why I just didn't feel like going to the store and buying and spending a whole bunch of money for, for one day and so um, after brainstorming a little bit, my oldest daughter came up with the idea that, you know, she would either be Corpse Bride or Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, once we kind of uh, narrowed it down to her being Sally, um, my middle daughter, it was a little bit of, of, of kind of coercion, or you know, but I suggested to her that maybe she want to be Corpse Bride. She, her first choice was to be something completely different and we weren't able to find um, the costume or the supplies for that so um, when I told her about Court Bride she was quite excited to do that and I was quite excited to take this take on this challenge of putting it all together. I think actually the, the biggest challenge and also the most fun was putting together um, Hero's costume Sally from um, Nightmare for Christmas because I actually had to make her costume and I'm not very good at sewing but I decided okay that would be a challenge to take on and I um, I left upon a couple of pillowcases that I thought worked well for the project. One kind of had like a quilt pattern because because Sally's costume is kind of like a quilt, like a mesh of different fabrics and they're sewn together in such a rough and haggard way that I figured my limited sewing skills would go in handy with that. So um, I spent pretty much like maybe four or five hours total making that costume and, and it really turned out quite well. I had a whole bunch of fittings with the girl and she really enjoyed it and it was, it was quite fun for me. So I, and then once I got the wig and the makeup and drawing the little stitches on the face and the body and things like that, I, that was just my, the most fun I had and the best costume I think. And also the most challenging of course, because you know, I really was quite dedicated to making sure she looked like the rag doll that Sally is. When we chose my husband to be Beetlejuice, I wanted to make the Lydia from the wedding scene. So um, the biggest, challenge for me was being able to go to Goodwill and finding a red dress that would be suitable for that. Um, so I went I went to a couple of Goodwills and I finally found this red dress which, which was probably an old prom dress and I thought it was perfect and it actually fit perfectly but um, the thing is with, with Lydia she has this certain type of goth type hair and, and, and makeup and I wanted to make myself pale but yet not like with that thick white type clownish makeup that I put on, you know, my, my husband and my daughter. So that was kind of difficult being able to kind of use powder and and get that effect of being pale and, and putting the red around the eyes to make her go with the whole idea of the costume. But um, and when I bought the wig, the wig of course wasn't in the hairstyle of Lydia, so I had to create that and that was kind of a challenge. I could use hair gel and bobby pins and and rubber bands and all these different things to put that together, but in, in the end, I think it came out quite nicely. Trick or treating is for bozos, <laughs> clowns. <laughs> Get it? Yeah, I'm sure. Whatever. Bozos, clowns, uh, little kids, none of which are anything that I am right now, but I am extremely agitated. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Lydia's hot. I'm Zernia Shackleford. I'm going to be Beetlejuice for Halloween. Uh, Halloween is extremely important to me, mostly because it's my birthday. 
and I'll be turning uh, 38 years old this Halloween. And um, this is the first time ever that I've really gone out and, and uh, you know, gotten in costume and that kind of thing. Uh, my wife Carrie was extremely excited about creating these costumes. Uh, she put a lot of work into it, a lot of thought. And uh, it's been a while since I've seen her be that, uh, that intense and uh, uh, putting something together like that. I think she did very well. She um, was extremely true to the characters as much as she possibly could. Um, and I thought she did a very good job. It uh, took her quite some time, uh, but she stuck with it. She did very well. Uh, Tim Burton movies uh, are probably my thing more so than anybody else. Um, I'm into dark stuff, and uh, all of Tim Burton's movies are dark. Uh, they're kind of quirky and twisted in their own way, but they all have a very positive um, story behind all of them. The characters are extremely deep. One wouldn't think so. When they look at you know, Nightmare Before Christmas, they look at Corpse Bride, all they see is a cartoon and so much more than that. It's really deep. Um, I was even listening to the uh, Nightmare Revisited soundtrack that has a bunch of artists that have redone the music from Nightmare Before Christmas in their own way. And at the very end of it, there's this little uh, skit with, where Santa Claus is talking about what had just happened between him and Jack and how he asked Jack, you know, if you knew now, or if you knew then what you know now, you know, would you still go back and do what you did then? And Jack was like, wouldn't you? And you know, that always sends chills, you know, because it's like, yeah, you know, it's not about, you know, whether what he did was right or wrong, or if he should or shouldn't have. He had an idea, he went for it, he stuck with it. Yeah, it fell apart, but he learned a lot about himself in the midst of that. And I think that's where people lose it. They don't understand that part of it all. Uh, it's pretty deep. Nightmare Before Christmas is probably the first Tim Burton movie that I ever really paid attention to. Um, yeah, I'm Beetlejuice this year, and, and I know of Beetlejuice, and yeah, I'm fascinated with that and all that too, but Beetlejuice was never personal to me. Nightmare was personal. I went to see it when it came out uh, by myself. No kids, just went by myself, and I was floored by this thing. Uh, and I think what really kicked me in the butt was probably Sally's song. Um, it, I think, encompasses uh, the raw emotion of what Nightmare on Elm Street, I'm sorry, <laughs> Nightmare Before Christmas is. The Corpse Bride uh, is also a very powerful, extremely awesome movie. And, and if you realize, both of them basically revolve around love, both movies. And I'm I'm a big romantic. I like romantic movies. Yes, I like chick flicks. I like all kinds of movies, but they have to be deep. And Corpse Bride was extremely deep, you know, and it was just the whole idea behind what happened to this girl was sad. The whole idea behind the joy she felt when she thought she was married was intense. And then to have that taken away was like, whoa, good stuff, good stuff. And, you know, you would think this is just a children's movie, but it's so much, so much deeper than that. Z sucks. That's all I gotta say about that. He sucks, his family sucks, everybody sucks, his music sucks, his movies suck, everything sucks. Hi, I'm Emily, and I'm from Quest Ride. I'm Sally, Nightmare Before Christmas. Hi, I'm Lydia, I'm from Beetlejuice, maybe you've seen it. Everything just sucks. I don't know, but I'm really, um, I'm up to the challenge, and it'll be kind of cool if we can come up with another theme, and have the whole family participate in it. And with my um, younger daughter, she'll be three, and she'll be a little bit older, she'll be able to participate more fully next year, so I'm looking forward to that. This is probably the best Christmas, oh, Christmas, <laughs> the best Halloween uh, that I've had uh, with my family. Okay, um, have a good day.